morning, students, teachers, and family members. Welcome to the 2019 Garland ISD Spelling Bee. I am Jed Reed, school board president, and your host for the Spelling Bee. We are looking forward to an exceptional day of spelling by the 41 students representing 41 elementary and eight middle schools as campus Spelling Bee champions. The district champion and six runners up will compete in the Dallas County Spelling Bee on Thursday, February 14th, 2019 at the Hollis State Auditorium in Fair Park. We are uh, excited that our superintendent, Dr. Uh, Ricardo Lopez is here today and he will be presenting the trophies at the end of the contest. I'd like to introduce our Spelling Bee coordinators, Mary Shelton, Secondary English Language Arts Coordinator, and Michelle Nichols, Elementary Language Arts Coordinator. Our judges today are Ray Merrill, Area Director, Zada Zaldivar, Director of English Language Learners, and Chris Valdez, Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum Instruction. Our pronouncer is Jimmy Sellers. Our appeals coordinator is Brian Baumgartner. Are we prepared to begin the first round of the spelling bee? Mr. Sellers. All right, let's begin. Ethan Huang, Beaver Technology Center. Zero. Zero. Z E R O. Zero. You are correct. Jimmy Ortiz. And the school you attend? Carver Elementary. Tomato. Tomato. T O M A T O. Tomato. You are correct. My name is Cyril, and I go to Armstrong Elementary. Waffle. Waffle. W A F F L E. Waffle. You are correct. My name is Snail Varghese, and I attend Coyle Middle School. Shampoo. Can you repeat the word? Shampoo. S H A M P O O. Shampoo. You are correct. My name is Jacqueline Gutierrez, and I attend Heather Glenn. Etch. Can you repeat the word? Etch. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Knife manufacturers usually etch their names on the blades they produce. Etch. The definition? It is to produce as a design, usually on a metal or glass surface, by covering it with an acid-resistant ground through which a design is scratched with a pointed instrument and submitting the surface to an acid bath or other corroding substance. Etch. Language of orange. origin. This word is from a German-derived Dutch word. E, E, C, H. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. My name is John Ho, and I attend Weaver Elementary. Orange. Orange. O-R-A-N-G-E. Orange. You are correct. My name is Isabella Vargas. I come from Freeman Elementary. Library. Library. L I B. R A R Y. You are correct. I'm Miriam and I attend Pearson Elementary. So this word has a homonym. The word is bangle. It's a noun and it means a stiff, usually ornamental bracelet or anklet. Once again, the word is bangle. Can I please have the origin of language? Certainly. This word is from Hindi. B-A-N-G-L-E. You are correct. My name is Allison Martinez, and I'm from Rala Elementary. Garage. Garage. G-A-N-G-L-E. R-A-G-E, garage. 
You are correct. I'm Luis Rubio, and I'm from Bradfield Elementary. So this word has a homonym. The word is current. Uh, it's an adjective, and it means presently elapsing. Once again, the word is current. Current. C-U-R-R-E-N-T. Current. You are correct. My name is Loveland Chucks, and I attend Centralville Elementary. Pickle. And this word has a homonym. Um, it, this word pickle means ver, it's a verb. It means to steep in a solution of salt or vinegar for preservation. Once again, the word is pickle. Pickle, P-I-C-K-L-E, pickle. You are correct. My name is Julie Z and I attend Williams Elementary School. Measure. Could you repeat the word? Measure. Are there, an, are there any other alternate pronunciations? Measure. Measure. M-E-A-S-U-R-E, -E, measure. You are correct. My name is Zoe Pekulison. I'm from Hillside Academy. Canary. Canary. C-A-N-A-R-Y. Canary. You are correct. Ria Rana, representing Austin Academy. Whirlpool. Can you repeat the word? Whirlpool. Can I get language of origin? This word consists of two originally English elements. Can you repeat the word again? Whirlpool. Can I get the def defini um, definition? Yes, it's water moving rapidly in a circle so as to produce a depression or cavity in the center into which floating objects may be drawn. And once again, the word is whirlpool. Whirlpool, W-H-I-R-L-P-O-O-L, -O -O whirlpool. You are correct. My name is Matthew Martin, and I attend Sam Houston Middle School. So this word has a homonym. The word is cashew. It's a noun and it's the kidney-shaped nut of a tropical American tree naturalized in all warm countries. Once again, the word is cashew. Cashew, C-A... S-H-E-W. You are correct. My name is Splendor and I attend Ruth Roach Elementary. Deluxe. Deluxe. D-E-L-U-X-E. -E. Deluxe. You are correct. My name is Jasmine Matthew and I attend Brandenburg Middle School. So this word has a homonym. The word is alderman. It is a noun, and it's a member of a legislative body of a city. Uh, alderman. Are you using a sentence? Yes. The mayor mayoral candidate received the endorsement of the city's longest serving alderman. Alderman. A-L-D-E-R-M-A-N. Alderman. You are correct. My name is Juan Lopez, and I attend our elementary. Trek. May you give me a definition? A trip or movement, especially when involving difficulties or complex organization. Once again, trek. Trek. T R A C K. Trek. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. My name is Madeline Barrett, and I attend Watson Technology Center. Hundredth. May you please repeat the word? Hundredth. Hundredth. H-U-N-D-R-E-D-T-H. Hundredth. You are correct. My name is Arby Perrine, and I attend Hudson Middle School. Cushy. Cushy. Can I get, a, can I get the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Persian to Hindi. 
Can I get a definition? Yes. Comfortable, entailing little hardship or difficulty. Once again, the word is cushy. Can I have all of the alternate, uh, the alternate pronunciations? There are no alternate pronunciations to this word. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Sandra landed a cushy job with a high salary in the home office. Cushy. C-U-S-H-Y. Cushy. You're correct. My name is Ashwin. I'm from Etheridge Elementary School. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is errand. It's a noun, and it's a trip made in order to deliver a message or to purchase or attend to something. Once again, the word is errand. Can you repeat, can you repeat the word? Errand. Errand. E-R-R-E-N-D. Errand. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. My name is Casey Keeling, and I attend... Cooper Elementary School. Dissect. D I S C E S C T. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. I'm Landon and I attend Liberty Grove Elementary. Glitz. Glitz. G L I T Z. Glitz. You are correct. I'm Anjali Sharda from Spring Creek Elementary. So this word has a near homonym. The word is polka, and it's a noun, and it's a vivacious couple dance of bohemian origin with three steps and a hop in double time. Polka. May I have the definition? Yes, it's a vivacious couple dance of bohemian origin with three steps and a hop in double time. Polka. Polka. P-O-L-K-A. Polka. You're correct. My name is Shelby and I attend Webb Middle School. So this word has a homonym. The word is gnat. Uh, it's a noun and it means any of various small two-winged flies. Once again, the word is gnat. Gnat. G-N-A-T, Nat. You're correct. My name is Annabelle, and I attend Park Crest Elementary. Tattle. Tattle. T-A-T-T-L-E, Tattle. You're correct. My name is Mikhail Jim. I represent Sewell Elementary. Hearth. Can you repeat the word again? Hearth. Hearth, H-E-A-R-T-H, Hearth. You are correct. I am Jason Ward, and I attend Classical Center at Vial Elementary. Candidate. Candidate, C-A-N-D-I-D-A-T-E, Candidate. You are correct. My name is Andre Callis, and I represent Norma Joshi Elementary. Nosiest. Can you repeat the word again? Nosiest. Can you say it in a sentence? The interviewer has the reputation of daring to ask the nosiest questions. Nosiest. Nosiest. N-O-S-I-E-S-T. You are correct. My name is Layla Jackson, and I attend North Lake Elementary School. Unity. Unity. U-N-I-T-Y. Unity. You are correct. My name is Nate, and I attend Stevens Elementary. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is access. It's a verb. It means to get at or to gain freedom or ability to obtain or make use of. Once again, the word is access. Access. A C C E S. Access. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. My name is Rosalind Vera, and I come from Hanley Elementary School. Harmonica. H A R. M-O-N-I-C-A. 
You are correct. My name is Zaria Jordan, and I am, and I attend Toler Mentally. Nostril. N O S T R I L. You are correct. My name is Avery, and I attend Herefords Elementary. Pretzel. Pretzel. P R E T Z E L. You are correct. My name is Sophia, and I attend Club Hill Elementary. Renovate. Renovate. R E N O V A T E. Renovate. You are correct. My name is Lourdes, and I'm from Sugar Elementary. Hurricane. 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 H U R R I C A N E. Hurricane. You are correct. My name is Jennifer Ho, and I attend Jackson Technology Center. Alcove. Can you repeat the word? Alcove. Can you give me the definition? Yes. A recessed part as a breakfast nook of a room or small room opening into a larger one. Once again, the word is alcove. Alcove. A-L-C-O-V-E. Alcove. You are correct. My name is Lucas, and I represent Cooley Elementary. Ballerina. Can I hear the word again? Ballerina. Ballerina. B A L L E R I N A. Ballerina. You are correct. My name is Ariana Butler. I attend Kimberlin Academy. Gradient. Can you repeat the word, please? Gradient. G R a D I A N T. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. My name is Charlotte Terry. <clears throat> My name is Charlotte Terry, and I attend Caldwell Elementary. Tofu. Tofu. T O F U. Tofu. You are correct. My name is Andrew, and I attend Back Elementary. Cameo. Cameo, C-A-M-E-O, Cameo. You are correct. My name is Naya, and I attend Abbott Elementary. Hypothesis. Can you repeat the word? Hypothesis. Can I have a language of origin? Yes, this word is from Greek. Can I have a definition? Yes. A proposition tentatively assumed in order to draw out its logical or empirical consequences and so test its accord with facts that are known or may be determined. Hypothesis. Hypothesis. H Y P O. P-H-A-S-I-S, hypothesis. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. My name is Van Singh and I attend Luther Elementary. Spectrum. Spectrum. Can I have a definition? Yes, a series of images formed when a beam of light is subjected to dispersion and brought to focus so that the component waves are arranged in the order of their wavelengths. Once again, spectrum. S P E C T R U M. Spectrum. You are correct. I am Adrian Cabrera from Golden Meadows Elementary. So this word has a near homonym. The word is protein, and it is a noun, and it means any of a very large class of naturally occurring, extremely complex combinations of amino acids that are essential 
constituents of all living cells and also of the diet of the animal organism. Once again, the word is protein. P-R-O-T-I-E-N, protein. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. My name's Sarah Quadri and I attend Obanya Middle School. So this word has a homonym. The word is confidence and it's a noun and it means a relation of state or state of trust between persons who share or impart secrets or intimate matters. Once again, the word is confidence. Confidence. C O N F I D E N C E. You are correct. I'm Cassie Beck and I attend Stedham Elementary. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is loam, and it's a noun, and it means topsoil, a usually fertile and hummus-rich soil consisting of a mixture of clay, silt, and sand. Once again, the word is loam. Loam, L-O-A-M, loam. You are correct. My name is Xander, and I attend to Walnut Glen Academy. Fidelity. Can I have the definition? Yes. The quality or state of being faithful or loyal as to a person, cause, party, or nation. Fidelity. F I D E L I T Y. You are correct. My name is Jedediah from Couch Elementary. Denim. Can I have the uh, definition, please? Yes. A firm, durable, twilled, usually cotton fabric woven with colored warp and white filling threads. Once again, the, wor the word is denim. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Annabelle's favorite jeans are made of light green denim. Denim. D-E-N-O-M. Denim. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. My name is Mercedes Gonzalez and I attend Shorehaven Elementary. Tragic. <clears throat> T-R-A-G-I-C. You are correct. And that is the end of our first round. Let's give it a hand. Rehearse. Can you repeat the word? Rehearse. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes, the actors will rehearse the play every Tuesday and Thursday evening for the next four weeks. Rehearse. Rehearse. R-E-H-E-A-R-S-E. -E -E. Rehearse. You are correct. Homonym. Homonym. H-O-M-O-N-I-M. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Seersucker. Can you repeat it again? Seersucker. C-Y-S-U-C-K-E-R. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Fathom. Fathom. Can you repeat the word? Fathom. F A. T-H-E-M, fathom. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. So this word has a homonym. The word is llama. It's a noun, and it means any of several cud-chewing mammals of South America related to the camels, but smaller and without a hump. Once again, the word is llama. Llama, L-L-A-M-A, -L -A -M -A. llama. You are correct. Dross. Can you please repeat the word? Dross. Dross. G E R A U S. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Finale. Finale. F I N. 
A L E. You are correct. Interrupt. Interrupt. I N T E R R U P T. You are correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is maraca. It's a noun, and it means a rattle of Latin American origins that is often made from a hollow gourd containing pebbles or dried seeds, and that is used as a percussion instrument, usually in pairs. Maraca. Maraca. M-A-R-A-C-A. -A -A. Maraca. You are correct. Polymer. Can I get the definition? Yes. It's a natural or synthetic chemical compound or mixture of compounds consisting essentially of repeating structural units, polymer. Can you say the word slowly? Polymer. Polymer, P-A-L-E-R-M-E-R-E, -E -E. polymer. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Stucco. Could you repeat the word? Stucco. Is there any art alternate pronunciations? There are no alternate pronunciations. Can I have the language of origin? Yes. This word is from a Germanic element that went into Italian before entering English, stucco. Could you use it in a sentence? Yes. The architect recommended covering the hallway with walls, hallway walls with stucco. Stucco, S-T-U-C-K-O, stucco. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Weeky, weeky. Weeky, weeky. Can I have the language of origin? Yes, this is from a Hawaiian word. Can I have the definition? Yes, it means quickly or fast. Wiki wiki. W I K I W I K I. Wiki wiki. You are correct. Contraband. Contraband. Can I get the language of origin? Yes. This word came from Italian, which formed it from a Latin word. Contraband. Contraband. C O N T R A B A N D. Contraband. You are correct. Sultan. May I have a definition, please? Yes. A king or ruling sovereign, especially of an Islamic state, Sultan. S U L T A N. You are correct. Bevel. Can you please repeat the word? Bevel. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Jesse will bevel the edges of the cabinet he is making for his mother. B E V I L E. Bevel. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. So this word has a homonym. The word is moo moo, it is a noun. It's a loose dress worn cheaply in Hawaii, having bright colors and patterns and adapted from the dresses originally distributed by missionaries to the native women. Once again, the word is moo moo. Moo moo. M-O-O-M-O-O, moo moo. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. <coughs> C-A-F-E. 
E T E R I A, cafeteria. You are correct. Apricot. Apricot. Can I get the language of origin? Yes. This word is from a word that started out in Latin and then probably went to Greek, then Arabic, and then probably Catalan, and then, then was probably influenced by French and Latin when it passed into English. Can I get a definition, please? Certainly. The oval orange colored fruit of a temperate zone tree resembling both peach and plum in flavor. Once again, apricot. There is an alternate pronunciation, apricot. Um, can, I get, can you use it in a sentence, please? Dan's mom packed an apricot in his lunchbox as a snack. Apricot. A-P-R-I-C-O-T. Apricot. You are correct. Worrisome. Worrisome. W-O-R-R-Y-S-O-M-E. Worrisome. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Diagnosis. May I have the definition? Yes. The art or act of identifying a disease from its signs and symptoms. Also, the decision reached. Diagnosis. Diagnosis. D I A G N O S I S. Diagnosis. You are correct. Adios. Can I hear an incidence? Yes. The college students readily said adios to their slovenly roommate. Adios. A D I O S. Adios. You are correct. Paddock. Can you repeat that? Yes. Paddock. Paddock. P A T T I C. Paddock. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Popularity. Popularity. P O P U L A R I T Y. You are correct. Boutique. Will you please repeat that? Boutique. B O U T I Q U E. Boutique. You are correct. Daffodil. Can you please repeat that? Daffodil? Can you please uh, put it in a sentence? Yes. The daffodil is Madeline's favorite spring flower. Daffodil. D A F I. D I L L. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Alamo. Alamo. A L A M O. Alamo. You are correct. Carnivore. C A R. N O V O R E. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Leotard. May I please have a definition? Yes, it's a close fitting garment for the torso that is worn for practice or performance by dancers, acrobats, and aerialists. Leotard. Leotard. L E. A T A R E. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Fiery. Fiery. F I R E Y. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is iguana. It's a noun and it means any of a number of large herbivorous, chiefly tropical American lizards being typically dark colored with a serrated dorsal crest and attaining a length of several feet. Once again, the word is iguana. Iguana. I-G-U-A 
and a iguana. You are correct. Stipple. Can you please repeat the word? Stipple. Stipple. S-T-I-P-L-E. Stipple. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Panic. Can you give me the definition? Yes, to be stricken with a sudden terror, often accompanied by unreasoning or frantic efforts to secure safety, panic. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes, the teacher believes that the students will not panic if a tornado warning is announced because they know what to do. Panic, P-A-N-I-C, panic. You are correct. Giraffe. Giraffe, G-I-R-A-F-F-E, giraffe. You are correct. Excise. Can I have the definition? Yes. Any of various taxes upon privileges as of engaging in a particular trade or sport or transferring property that are often assessed in the form of a license or other fee. Excise. Excise. E X C I S E X I S. You are correct. Hyphen. Hyphen. H Y P H E N. Hyphen. You are correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is canasta, and it's a noun. It's a card game that is a form of rummy, played usually as a two hand or as a four hand partnership game using two full decks plus four jokers. Once again, the word is canasta. C-A-N-A-S-T-A, -A canasta. You are correct. Trauma. Trauma. T-R-A. M-A? I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Crochet? Crochet. C-R-O-C-H-E-T, crochet. You are correct. Praline? Can you give me the definition? Yes, it's a round patty of creamy brown sugar containing pecan meats, praline. Language of origin? The praline is a favorite candy in some parts of the southern United States. P R A L I N E. You are correct. Incorruptible. I N C-U-R-A-P-T-B-L-E. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. And that is the end of that round. Let's give our spellers a hand. <laughs> Albatross. Can you repeat the word? Albatross. Albatross. A L B A T R O S S. Albatross. You are correct. Hazard. Can you give me a definition? Yes. A possible source of peril, danger, duress, or difficulty. Hazard. Hazard. H A Z A R D. Hazard. You are correct. Vibrato. Can you say the word again? Vibrato. V-I-B. 
R A T T O. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Quesadilla. Quesadilla. Q. U E S A D I A I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Croquet. May you repeat the word? Croquet. Croquet. C R O C A Y. Croquet. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Post mortem. Post mortem. Can you say? Can you repeat it again? Post mortem. Can I have the definition? Yes. An examination of a body after death to determine the cause of death or the character and extent of changes produced by disease. Post-mortem. Post-mortem. P-O-S-T-M-O-R-T-E-M. Post-mortem. You are correct. Morgue. Morgue. Can I get the definition? Yes. A place where the bodies of unidentified persons or those who have died of violence or unknown causes are kept until released for burial. Morgue. Morgue. M-O-R-G-U-E. Morgue. You are correct. Anchovy. Can you repeat the word? Anchovy? A N C H O V I E S. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Troll. Can you please repeat the word? Trawl. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. Uh, a dolphin is at risk of drowning when caught in a trawl. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There, there are not. Can you please give me the definition? Yes, uh, it's a large conical net with a device for keeping its mouth open that is dragged along the sea bottom in gathering fish or other marine life. Trawl. Trawl. T-R-A-U-L. Trawl. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Belay. Belay. May you give me a def uh, may I get a definition, please? To secure a person at the end of a rope, belay. Belay. May I get a language of origin? Yes, uh, this word is originally English. Um, may do you, do they have any alternate pronunciations? Belay. Belay. Can okay, you use it in a sentence? Yeah. Instructors belay the students as they climb up the rock face. Belay. B E L A Y. Belay. You are correct. Clementine. Can you repeat the word? Clementine. 
You may have the definition. Yes, it's a small, usually seedless citrus fruit that has a thin, loose orange to red-orange skin and slightly acid, pink-tinged flesh, and is probably a hybrid between a tangerine and a sour orange. Clementine. Clementine. C L E M I N T I N E. Clementine. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Galleria. Can I hear the word in a sentence? The mall's Galleria is lined with retail stores and ethnic restaurants. Galleria. G A L L E R I A. Galleria. You are correct. Ramada. Can you, can you repeat it? Ramada. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. The class picnic was held at a Ramada in the public park. R A M A D A. Ramada. You are correct. Mirage. Can you please repeat that? Mirage. Mirage. M I R A G E. Mirage. You are correct. Fresco. Fresco. F R E S C O. Fresco. You are correct. Mantilla. Mantilla, can I please have its definition? Yes, a light scarf, often of black lace, worn over the head and shoulders, especially by Spanish and Latin American women. Mantilla. Can I please have its origin? This word is from Spanish. Mantilla. M-E-N-T-I-A. Mantilla. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Discern. Can you please can you please repeat the word? Yes. Discern. Can you give it to me in a sentence? Yes. Jack believes that he will discern the overgrown uh, trail by himself and does not wish to use a GPS device to help him locate it. Discern. Can you please give me the definition? To detect something such as something obscure or distant with the eyes. Discern. D I S. C E R N discern. You are correct. Confetti. Can I please hear the word again? Confetti. Confetti. C O N F E T T I confetti. You are correct. Gordita. Can I have the meaning? Yes, it's a deep fried pocket of cornmeal dough filled with a savory mixture. Mm. Gordita. G O R D I T A. Gordita. You are correct. Acronym. Acronym. A C R O N Y M. You are correct. So this word could be confused with a similar word. Uh, the word is salami. Uh, it's a noun, and it's a highly seasoned sausage made of pork and beef. Once again, salami. S-A-L-A-M-I, salami. You are correct. Cadenza. Can I have the definition? Yes, it's a parenthetic flourish in the course of an air aria or other solo piece, commonly just before the final or other important chord sequence. Cadenza. Cadenza. C-O-D-E-N-Z-A. Cadenza. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Tortilla. Can I have the definition? Yes, it's a round, thin cake of unleavened Cornmeal bread, usually eaten hot with a topping or filling that may include ground meat, cheese, and any of various sauces. Tortilla. Tortilla. T-O-R-T-I-L-L-A. You are correct.
This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is incognito. Uh, it is an adverb, and it means with one's identity concealed or assumed to be concealed. Once again, incognito. Can you give me the definition? Yeah, it's a with one's identity concealed or assumed to be concealed. Can you give me the sentence? Yeah, absolutely. The rock star was recognized when he tried to visit the theme park incognito. Incognito. I N C O G N I T O. Incognito. You are correct. Orthodox. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. An Orthodox believer, Maria, was dismayed by the novel The Da Vinci Code, even though it is a fictional work. Orthodox. Orthodox. O R T H I D O X. Orthodox. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Participant. Can you say the word again? Participant. Can you say the definition? Yes. Uh, one that takes part in something as an enterprise or activity, usually in common with others. Participant. Participant. P A R T I C I P A N T. Participant. You are correct. Fennel. Can you repeat the word? Fennel. Can I get definition? Yes. It's a perennial European herb not native to North America and cultivated for the aromatic flavor of its seeds. Fennel. F-E-N-N-E-L. Fennel. You are correct. Bratwurst. Bratwurst. Can I get the language of origin? This word is from an originally German word. Can I get a definition, please? It's fresh pork sausage for frying or grilling. Can I get the language of origin again? Uh, it's German. German. Can you put it in a sentence? Sure. Karen is grilling bratwurst for the pool party. Is there any alternate pronunciations? Bratwurst. Bratwurst. Bratwurst, B-R-A-T-W-U-R-S-T, -T. Bratwurst. You are correct. Desperado. Can I hear the word in a sentence? Luis pretended to be a desperado holding up a stagecoach. Can I get the definition? A bandit of the western frontier. Desperado, D E S. P-E-R-A-D-O, Desperado. You are correct. Harpsichord. H-A-R-P-I-S-C-O-R-D. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Buccaneer. Can you please repeat that? Buccaneer. Buccaneer. B U C K. A N E E R, Buccaneer. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Ravioli. Ravioli. R A V I O L L I. Ravioli. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Amnesia. Can you please repeat the word? Amnesia. Can you please give me the definition? Yes, uh, loss of memory, sometimes including the memory of personal identity, amnesia. Can you please put it into a sentence? Alice suffered from amnesia as a result of a head injury. Amnesia, A-M-N-E-S-I-A, -E amnesia. You are correct. Vogue. Can I hear the word in a sentence? Milia refuses to follow the current vogue of texting, preferring to write letters in longhand or make telephone calls. Vogue. Vogue. V-O-G-U-E. Vogue. 
You are correct. Pashimo. Can I have the definition? Yes, it's a term of United States origin borrowed into Mexican Spanish. Can you repeat the word? Yes. Pachismo. Can I have it in a sentence? Yes. One believes that not a single pachismo adds to the beauty of the Spanish language. Can you and repeat the word? Yes. Pochismo. P O C H E E Z E M O. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Synopsis. Can you repeat the word? Synopsis. Are there any other alternate pronunciations? There are not. Can I have the definition? It's a briefly or a brief orderly outline affording a quick general view, a synopsis. Can you repeat the word? Synopsis. Can you repeat the word again? Synopsis. S O M O M P S A S. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Libretto. Um. May I have the definition, please? It's the book containing the test of a work as an opera for the musical theater. Libretto. May you repeat the word again? Libretto. L I B R E T O. Libretto. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. So this word has a near homonym. Um, the word is vulcanize. And it's a verb meaning to subject various materials as for hardening to a process of treating in any of various ways. So vulcanize. Can I have the language of origin? Certainly. This is a word consists of a Latin literary name plus an English combining form. Can you repeat the word? Vulcanize. Vulcanize. V U L C-A-N-I-Z-E. You are correct. So that is the end of the fourth round. We're going to take a five-minute break, and then when we're finished, we'll return to this contest. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Let's go ahead and uh, have our next contestant. One moment. In the, we did have an appeal, and we did have one contestant reinstated. So I wanted to make sure that was clear. Piazza. Can you repeat the word? Piazza. You're uh, saying the sentence. A large sculptured fountain graced the center of the piazza. Can you see the definition? Yes, an open square in a town, piazza. P-E-A-Z-A, -A, piazza. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Misanthropy. Can you repeat the word? Misanthropy. Can you say the definition? Yes. A hatred of humankind, a distrust of human nature. Misanthropy. M I S A N T H R O P Y. Misanthropy. You are correct. Geisha. Geisha. Can I get the word of origin? 
Yes, it's from Japanese. And it does have an alternate spelling uh, pronunciation, geisha. Geisha, G-E-I-S-H, geisha. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. So this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is cavalry, it's a noun, and it's the component of an army that maneuvers and fights on horseback. Once again, cavalry. Cavalry, may I get a definition? Yes, it's the component of an army that maneuvers and fights on horseback, cavalry. Can I get the language of origin? Yes, it's from Italian. May I get, you, may you put the word in a sentence, please? Absolutely. The cavalry played a vital role in protecting settlers during America's westward expansion. Can you repeat the word again? Cavalry. Is there any alternate pronunciations? There is not. Cavalry. Cavalry. C-A-V-A-L-R-Y. Cavalry. You are correct. Semolina. Can you repeat the word? Semolina. Can I hear it in a sentence? Yes. It is often said that the best pasta is made from semolina. Can I get the definition? Yes. The purified middlings of durum or other hard wheat used for making pasta, semolina. Are there any other pronunciations? There are not. Semolina, S-I-M-A-L-I-N-A, -A, Semolina. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Satori. Can you please repeat the word? Yes, Satori. Can you give me the language of origin? This word is from Japanese. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes, the primary method of achieving satori is through the use of riddles that provide material for meditation. Can you give me the definition? Yes, it is sudden enlightenment and a state of consciousness attained by intuitive illumination representing the spiritual goal of Zen Buddhism, satori. S. Can you please repeat the word? Yes, Satori. A T O R I, Satori. You are correct. Argentine. Can I hear the word again? Argentine. Can I hear the language of origin? Yes, this word is, came from French, which formed it from a Latin word. Argentine. A R G E N T I N E, Argentine. You are correct. Boudoir. Can I hear the word again? Boudoir. Can I have the meaning? A woman's dressing room, bedroom, or private sitting room. Can you use it in a sentence? The boudoir adjacent to the master bedroom was, to Brooke, the most fascinating room on the tour. Can you repeat the word? Boudoir. B O U D. Oh, you are? I'm sorry, you're incorrect. So this word uh, could be confused with a similar word. The word is etymology, and it's a noun. It's a branch of linguistics concerned with the history, often including the prehistory, of a linguistic form as a word or a morpheme. Etymology. Can I have the language of origin? It's originally Greek. This word went from into Latin before becoming English. Etymology. E-T-Y-M-O-L-O-G-Y. 
O L O G Y. You are correct. Imam. Can you say the word again? Imam. Can you say it in a sentence? Yes, the Imam of the local Islamic center teaches classes on the Quran to teenagers. Can you see the definition? It's the prayer leader of a mosque. Imam. E M A U M. Imam. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Obsequious. Obsequious. May I get a definition, please? Yes. Meanly or servilely attentive, compliant to excess. May, may I get the language of origin? Yes. This word went from Latin to English. May you use it in a sentence? Marshall's obsequious attitude toward Mrs. Kirby doesn't uh, fool her. Obsequious. Do, do they have any alternate pronunciations? Obsequious? Uh, no, obsequious. 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 O B S E Q U I O U S. Obsequious. You are correct. So this word has a homonym. Uh, the word is con, and uh, it's a noun, and it's a, it means a rest house in some Asian countries where caravans rest at night. That is commonly a large bare building surrounded surrounding a court. A con. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes, needing food and shelter, the weary members of the caravan decided to stop at the next con, even if it looked unpromising. Con, K-H-A-N, con. You are correct. Tortoni. Can I hear the word again? Tortoni. Can I hear the language of origin? This word is probably from an Italian name. Tortoni. T O R T O N I. Tortoni. You are correct. Mole. Can you please repeat that? Mole. Language of origin? This word is from a word that went from uh, Nahut. I'm sorry. Nahutual to Mexican Spanish. Mole. M O L E. You are correct. Taj. Taj. May I get a definition, please? It's a cap worn in Muslim countries, especially a tall, cone shaped cap worn by dervishes. May I get the language of origin? It's a Persian derived Arabic word. May you use it in a sentence, please? The dervish was wearing a white taj made of felt. Is there any alternate pronunciations? Uh, taj. Taj. T-A-J. Taj. You are correct. So this word has a near homonym. Um, the word is cynical, and it is an adjective. And it means exhibiting feelings ranging from distrustful doubt to contemptuous and mocking disbelief. Once again, the word is cynical. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. After his experiences on the professional ice skating tour, Scott was cynical about show business. Cynical. C-Y-N-I-C-A-L. Cynical. You are correct. Geronimo... Can you hear the language of origin? This word is an Apache name. 
Geronimo. G E R O N I M O. Geronimo. You are correct. Accommodate. Can I have the definition? Yes, it means to provide with lodgings. Accommodate. A C C O M M O D A T E. You are correct. Egalitarian. Egalitarian. Can you give me the de definition, please? It's marked by or adhering to a belief that all persons are equal in intrinsic worth and are entitled to equal access to the rights and privileges of their society. Egalitarian. May I get a language of origin, please? This word came from French, which formed it from a Latin word. May you use it in a sentence, please? The senator promised to help create and expand opportunities and distribute them in an egalitarian fashion. Is there any alternation? Yeah, alternation. Um, alternate pronunciation. You're fine. Sorry. Uh, egalitarian. Okay. Egalitarian. 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 E G A L I T A R I A N. Egalitarian. You are correct. Boulevard. Can you please repeat the word? Boulevard. Can you give me the definition? It's the basic monetary unit of Venezuela. Can you please use it in a sentence? Drew recently added to a added a ruble and a bolivar to his currency collection. Bolivar. Bolivar. B O U L E V A R. Bolivar. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Aggregate. Aggregate. A G G R E G A T E aggregate. You are correct. Marzipan. Can I have the definition? Yes, it's a confection of crushed almonds or almond paste, sugar, and whites of eggs that is often shaped into various forms as animals or fruits. Marzipan. Can I have the language of origin? It's originally Arabic. The word, this word passed through Italian and then German before becoming English. Marzipan. M-A-R-C-I-P-A-N. You are correct. Pentathlon. Pentathlon. May I get a definition, please? Yes, it's a contest in the modern Olympic Games involving participation by each contestant in horseback riding, shooting, fencing, swimming, and running. May I get a, the language of origin, please? This word is from Greek. May I use it in a sentence, please? Miguel is training four hours a day for the upcoming pentathlon. Um, may, do they have any alternate pronunciations? Pentathlon? Pentathlon, P-E-N-T-A-T-H-L-O-N, -T -T Pentathlon. You are correct. Altruism. Can I hear the language of origin? Sure. This word is from Latin derived French. Altruism. Can I hear the word in a sentence? Altruism is considered a virtue in many cultures and religions. Altruism, A L T R U I S M. Altruism. You are correct. Nougat. 
Can I have the language of origin? Yes, this word is from a word that went from Latin to Provençal to French. Can I have the definition? It's a confection made by mixing nuts or sometimes fruit pieces in a sugar paste whose composition is varied to give either a chewy or a brittle consistency. Nougat. Nougat. N O U G A T. You are correct. Herpetology. Herpetology. May I get a definition, please? It's a branch of the science of animal life that deals with reptiles and amphibians. May I get the language of origin? Uh, this word is from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin. May you use it in a sentence, please? Jason studied herpetology to learn about the habits of cold-blooded creatures. Do, you, do they have an alternate pronunciation? There are none. Okay, herpetology. Herpetology. Herpetology, H-E-R-P-E-T-O-L-O-G-Y, herpetology. You are correct. Regime. Can I hear the word again? Regime. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Regime. Can I hear it in a sentence? Yes. During the communist regime in Romania, environmental problems were flagrantly ignored. Regime. Regime. R A G E M E. Regime. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Nemesis. Can I have the definition? A formidable and usually victorious rival or opponent, nemesis. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a Greek word that became a Latin name and then passed into English. Nemesis. N-E-M-E-S-I-S. -E -E you are correct. Gingham. May I repeat the word again? Gingham. May I get a definition, please? It's a clothing fabric, usually of yarn dyed cotton to, in plain weave, made in solid colors, checks, plaids, and stripes, gingham. Um, may, may I get a language of origin? From Malay. Malay. May you use it in a sentence? Betsy made curtains of blue gingham for her kitchen. Is there an alternate pronunciation? There is not. Gingham. G E N G Can you repeat the word again? Yes, gingham. Gingham? Mm E.M. Gingham? I'm sorry, you're incorrect. Mariachi? Can I have the definition? Uh, it's a group of Mex Mexican folk musicians, usually consisting of singers, guitarists, and a violinist. Can I have the language of origin? This word is probably French-derived from, from a probably French-derived Spanish word. Mariachi? M-A-R-I 
A C H I. You're correct. We have the championship word. So this is it. Okay. All right. The word is lieutenant. Can I have the definition? It's a commissioned officer in the Army, Navy, or Air Force, or Marine Corps. Can I have the language of origin? It's originally Latin. The word went through French before becoming English. Lieutenant. L. I. E. U. T. E. N. A. N. T. Congratulations. You are correct. <laughs>